Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, my name is Zen Dishwasher One. Now, this video is a continuation of my use of the blue backed GAT deck. Now, I posted the last video and I accidentally called it the red backed GAT deck. Boy, that's a mouthful. So, please uh, forgive my mistake. And you probably noticed if you saw the video that I was using blue back cards, not red. My fault, sorry. So this is uh, more ideas that you can do with the cards. They're not really finished products yet, it's just things I'm working on and ideas for you so that you can uh, have some idea of what to do with the cards. So uh, enjoy, some of this stuff is somewhat interesting, at least I thought it was, it's a lot of fun making it. So have fun. Remember, rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, Miss Mag822 and Esprend um, for posting the video of Hide and Seek Kings. Um, you can look it up, there's a tutorial for it. Um, it was a good effect, and it was just what I was looking for for one of these tricks, and you can see how the two tricks differ. So, let's get on with the show. Bye for now. Now to start, we'll give the deck a shuffle, just as always, like this. Now I'm going to tell you a little story about four women of the ancient world, just like this. Now the first one was Circe, and then Medea. Sybil and Cassandra. Now, one evening these ladies decided to do a ritual of ancient magic, which looks something like this. Now, when they were finished, they went down into the underworld, just like this, where they were greeted when they arrived. Now, Circe, she was greeted by Agnememnon. Medea was greeted by Tantalus. Sybil was greeted by Prometheus. And of course, Cassandra was greeted by Orpheus. And of course, the rest is history. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to show you a trick that uses only four cards. One, two, three, four cards. One, two, three, four. All I'm going to do is turn them face up like this and visibly change one, just like this. See a change? Are you impressed? Don't be. Now we'll take a card like this and place it here. Now repeat after me. Hey diddle diddle, the queen is in the middle. One, two, three. Where is she now? Take a guess. How many people think she's on top? In the middle, on the bottom. Actually, the queen is here. This is the card that you have to watch. One, two, three. 
Remember what they are? One, two, three. Now, one card goes down, take the queen, put her back into the middle. Hey diddle diddle, the queen is in the middle. One, two, three. Now, once again, how many think the queen is on top? In the middle. On the bottom. Remember, this is the queen. This is the card that you have to watch. Now, we'll do this one last time. Slow motion. One card goes down. We take the queen. Queen goes into the middle. Hey, diddle, diddle. The queen is in the middle. One, two, three. Where is the queen now? Take a guess. How many think she's on top? In the middle. On the bottom. How many think the queen is right here? Well, if you said she was here, you'd be wrong because the queen is now on top, in the middle, and on the bottom. Now, all you need to remember, ladies and gentlemen, that this is the trick with the one, two, three, four cards. Have a nice day. Now, let me give the cards a little bit of a shuffle, like this, and like this. Now, what I would do is I would have the spectator cut off a small packet from the top like this, and flip it face up like this, and I would take that and cut deeper, and flip it over like this, and spread the deck out like this. And what we would do is take the first three cards after the break, like this. And these three cards will become our selections. One, two, three. Of course, I don't know what these are, and neither do the spectator. Now, then what we do is we take three magic cards like this. Now, I won't show you what they are, but I will show you what they can do. What you would do is you'd place these on top of the first red selection. So, instantly, the first magic card would change into a five of spades. So, the second magic selection would become a five of spades as well. Now the third magic selection is also a five of spades. And of course the last card is a five of spades as well. Now we take the three magic cards like this, place them on the second selection, like this. So again, the first magic card becomes a four of clubs. The second magic selection becomes a four of clubs. Third magic card, well, of course, it's the four of clubs as well, as is the selection. Now, one last time with the magic cards like this. We'll take them and place them on the last selection like this. And the first magic card becomes Hmm, an eight of diamonds. Of course, the second magic card, well, it too is an eight of diamonds. The third magic card, hmm, again, it's the eight of diamonds. And of course, the selection is the eight of diamonds. And of course, then you'd get out of town as fast as you could.